We're with Michael Frederick. You've got some news for us. Yeah, um, just signed a, signed a contract um, for another three years after next year. So, How's it feel to be signing on and securing that playing future at Freya? Um, pretty awesome, to be honest. I didn't think um, it'd come around this quick, but um, I guess it's the club seeing the future and you know they signed Young up pretty quickly too for a fair while as well. So it's awesome to sort of be tied and um, staying around for, for that long and just knowing that we've got a lot of footy ahead of us. Your third AFL season now, what do you feel like has been your biggest growth area over that time? Uh, I think just connection and um, playing different variety of roles in the forward line um, each week. So yeah, I think I've built off that really well and JG's been a massive help with that um, coming in as our new forward coach. Playing under Justin Longmuir and the influence of Jamie Graham, how have they impacted you as, as a player? Um, yeah, I guess they back me in 100% just like everyone else and I'm um, just hearing uh, their feedback for me and um, just I guess you build a lot of confidence off of the good stuff they say, say to you and keep um, yeah you just keep trying to build every, every week not every week is going to be a good week but um, just knowing that what your best can possibly be and yeah just backing yourself in and trusting yourself. You've kicked multiple goals uh, in seven out of your 15 games so far this year have you felt the confidence has grown to impact the scoreboard in a big way? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, obviously, the goals are nice, but I think I've sort of tried to build my game on pressure and um, just tackling this year, which I think has come along pretty well so far. And um, I guess um, that sort of opens up opportunities to, uh, to hit the scoreboard. Um, so yeah, of course, it's not bad at all. It's a fun little forward line. you got Shirt down there and Switter when he's fit and the small forwards, um, Sunny as well. It's a good little group. Do you enjoy playing uh, week in, week out with those boys? Yeah, I do. Um, we got a pretty strong connection, even with the other, with the big boys as well. Um, but yeah, playing with the small forwards every week um, is something I enjoy. And when we come in the next week after a win or a loss, we um, still get around each other, and the energy is still good um, around the group. And I've really enjoyed that kind of that side of things this year a lot. A lot was made of your game against Melbourne earlier in the year. You, Switter came out. You kind of filled that role. Um, how do you reflect on that game in particular? Um, yeah, I guess just another opportunity to play a different kind of role, like I said, um, and just taking it in my stride and being up and around the stoppage, I guess um, it's good experience and um, it also helps with ha having the um, experience mid such as Caleb, Andy and Dave in there just talking to you constantly and all that kind of thing. So yeah, um, you try to build your connection with them off field as well as on field and it, I guess it helps a lot on field. It's a young and exciting group. What are some of the things you love about being part of it? It's a strong connection. You can see that with the way that you guys celebrate each other's goals on the field. Yeah, um, just the fun side of things. I think not everyone's too serious, and um, obviously game day, um, you got to be ready and um, to face like any oppo. And um, but I think throughout the week, uh, the fun we have throughout the week and just good banter um, has changed a fair bit in my first couple of years, and especially this year and. Um, yeah, I think the connection's been awesome throughout the whole squad as well as like the forward line and I'm sure the mids have and backs have their own um, sort of good connection in their group. So yeah, that's been awesome this year. You touched on the forwards. Is there any players in particular that you feel you gel really well with out on the field? Um, this year I think um, Sonny and Shooter a lot this year. Um, just constantly talking to me and um, giving me confidence as well um, in certain certain roles on the uh, in our forward line and yeah I think I've built a lot of trust with them too in particular. And finally on game days at Optus Stadium um, it seems like the crowd noise level seems to skyrocket. Can you tell us about that? Can you feel that out there and do you have a message for the Freya fans um, who I'm sure are really excited that you're signing on? Um, yeah you, you certainly feel and hear it. Uh, it's something I think I was uh, yeah, still not used to in a way, um, but I, I guess take it in my stride and embrace it a lot. Um, but yeah, no, nah, it's awesome support that the crowd give, not just to myself, but to everyone else on the field. And um, you can hear it every week, and especially when we kick goals or have a good like five minute swing of momentum our way. Um, yeah, they've been awesome, and I'm sure they're a lot of the reasons why um, we get up and about throughout certain quarters or certain times in games. And yeah, no, nah, it's awesome. Banfield shook off a couple.